This is Homelink 11.5, more random draw problems for grade three everyday math. This Homelink focuses on predicting the contents of a jar by drawing out marbles. Don't expect your child to be an expert. Explorations with probability will continue through sixth grade. This is a first exposure. In each problem, there are 10 marbles in a jar. The marbles are either black or white. A marble is drawn at random, without looking, from the jar. The type of marble drawn is tallied. Then, the marble is returned to the jar. Read the description of the random draws in each problem. Circle the picture of the jar that best matches the description. From 100 random draws, you get, so you have to think, basically somebody drew a marble, right? They had this jar of marbles. They pulled out a 100 times, and the choices were either black or white. And on the black side, we ended up with 81 tallies, and on the white side, we ended up with 19 tallies, so that it would equal 100. Okay, every time they pulled a the marble out, they put it back in. So we have to look at these two jars and think, well, which one could it be? Well, in this case, black, the black marbles are many more than the white marbles, okay? And you could even round that down to 80, round this up to 20, okay? So about 80% of the time was black, about 20% of the time is white. If we look at this jar, the reason this one is circled is because, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there are eight black marbles, two white marbles. We would expect that since it's eight out of 10, that's 80%, that this jar would indeed be the one that we pulled the marbles out of. This one over here, we would expect it to be more equal because there are five whites and five blacks. So that's how these problems work. Let's take a look at the rest of them. Number one, from 100 random draws, you get a black marble 34 times and a white marble 66 times. So again, if I just make the chart for you, you can see black marble, you would have 34 tallies. A white marble, you would have 66 tallies. Okay, and then I'm gonna look at my choices. This is about 30, right? And this is about 70. So I would expect the black to be 30%, the white to be 70%, okay? And then if I look over here, uh, the choice is pretty clear because there's one jar where the black is 30% and the white is indeed 70%. This one, it's reversed. The white's 30% and the black is 70%, okay? So be careful you don't get it reversed. Number two, from 100 random draws you get and then a black marble, 57 times, and a white marble, 43 times. Okay, so in this case, in this case, if I round this up to 60, and this down to 40, okay, I have about 60-40 for the percentage of marbles. So if I look over here, there's three black and seven white, that's about 70% and 30%. But here, there are four white marbles and six black, okay? Um, this is going to be the correct answer because I would expect since there are four of the marbles out of ten are white, I would pull a white marble out about 40% of the time. You see, it's not perfect. It's, it's a random draw, so it's a chance, to, but it's how probable it is. Okay, try this. Number three, from 50 random draws, you get, okay, you get a black marble 28 times, you get a white marble 22 times. I'm going to show you a trick with this. So instead of 50 random draws, imagine that it's 100. If it were 100, we could just double this to 56. Now this didn't actually happen, but it's the easiest way I think to solve this. And we double this to 44. So we just imagine that we repeated this experiment twice and got the exact same results. So black makes 56, white makes 44. Okay, we can round this up to 60, we can round this down to 40 and I would expect black would have 60% and white would have 40%, this is the answer. Okay, in this one, black has 100% anyway, so you didn't really even need to go through all that if you just looked at the pictures first, because you would say, well, there's no white marbles in this one, so they couldn't have pulled that out. Um, they wouldn't have pulled out any, it would have been zero. And again, from 50 random draws you get, so we're gonna make it 100 draws, and just double these. So the black would be 70 and the white would be 30. So that's pretty clear. I would expect to see, even without setting up the chart, but I'll do it. Black is 70 and then white is 30. I would expect to see 70% of the marbles black and 30% of the marbles white. So this was the answer for this. Okay, so this is Homelink 11.
five for grade three everyday math.